hello everybody and welcome back to our Kenji's Gaming. Kenji's here bringing you some more Seven Days to Die. Alright guys, last time we were here we had got infected yet again. We've already got a small room going. It's day two and honestly I'm not where I want to be at this moment in time in the game. Now, I suppose I can try... Wait, why have I got bandages in there? Uh, we can try and get some uh, glue sorted out. That is if we got any water. No, but we've got plenty to be able to make water. We still need a cook pot. Hmm. Okay. So we've, we've sort of got a back against the wall here a little. Uh, so I think what we're going to have to do is just literally... Uh, suck it up buttercup and basically go out and get what we need all right guys well if you asked, well, I'm heading towards the next nearest structure if you guys want to uh, smash that like button tap that notification bell and definitely definitely subscribe yeah then we can you know get on with the show because at this moment in time guys yeah need your help keep this channel going so please help me guys by subscribing and, and liking the content where that chicken go he's a fast little bugger isn't he yeah, he's long gone all right I wouldn't be in, in a farm but definitely got loads of houses around here we're sure to find a cook pot somewhere around here anyway all right oh easy way in and lots of charcoal and wood at the same time Well, somebody's bad at parking. Uh. Oh, a hunting knife. I mean, that will replace our bone knife. That's going to be fun to get to. Whoa! Whoa! Oh well, we... <laughs> that was unfortunate. I mean, falling through a wood floor, finding myself with a group of zombies, and then falling through another floor. I mean. What are the chances of that? Well, obviously quite good, because it happened. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll head back there. We'll see what, what what we can do to avoid... Well... 
falling down the hole. I mean, that was truly un unusual. A hole that big? It's one of the things I love about this game is it is that it's Jeez, me, he's still following. Jeez, he's moving at a rate of He's not coming anymore, so that's good. Armoured up, so primitive three. It's more for shotguns, but I'll take it anyway. Yeah, I missed this stuff out here first time round. Alright. Big old hole. How are we going to get around this? like that. Ah, there's the stairs down. So at least we know which way to go. Lots of good stuff though. Anything else up there? Nope, not really. door key okay I had a feeling the one of them were going to be in there that's why I sort of held back Sort of get a feel for where they're going to be and how they're going to pop up, just by keeping an eye. Because look, you got like that that on the floor there. Ooh, I had the right one, correct one even. So can you actually open that door? Oh, so you can actually open the door, but there ain't much there. <laughs> what the water? Hold on. So there's a room behind there. Okay. I 
yeah look there one one zombie over there no nope. That was a zombie there. It is a zombie there. Man, he's getting before he could do any real damage. That's all of them. Yeah, it looks like no cook pot. Yeah, we've got some blood bags which are good for making first aid kits. Whoa! Huh? Oh no! You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> Twice in one play session, that's, uh, that, that, that's got to be a record for me. I'm starting to regret taking the rifle. I, I really should have taken the um, the pistol now. I mean, that has got to be unfair, isn't it? Three zombies in a dark room. You have got no idea where the bloody door is. I mean, it does beg the question, can you actually have a perfect playthrough? No deaths. I'd imagine the answer is yes, but, you know, I just can't do it. I've tried so many times in this game to have, like, a perfect playthrough. I've restarted maps. I have no idea how many times. And... Yet there are other people who seem to be able to do playthrough after playthrough after playthrough and get it perfect. I, I just... I just don't know how they do it. I mean... Is it just that I'm I'm a naff gamer? I mean, I am more of a casual gamer. That, that's to be sure. But I can't be that bad, can I? Well, I suppose I could. I mean, it's possible. Hmm. Oh yeah, the door's open. Duh. Shotgun.
nor 7.62. Ah, wrench quality one. So we can make more wrenches when we're ready and able. Did I get everything from down here? Yeah, I did, yeah. I mean, we could easily spend hours just salvaging a lot of this stuff. Where is it? Yeah. Ah, there it is. Where's the door? Nothing really of use in here. I mean, we could take this apart. Hey, harvest electrical parks. Alright. So that's got us a few more challenges sorted out, so... This one's a hard one. Let's see, you got to salvage certain parts, like car engine, batteries, things like that. Honestly, that one I found, that, that particular um, one I do find difficult, but it's good to keep. Uh, as an active, so you can see what's going on. <clears throat> so, like this minivan, if we try and take it apart, let's see if we can get either a battery or an engine out of it. I'm sure we'll get the radiators though. Oh, look, we've got an engine and we've got a radiator. So I'm sure if we if we kept on going, we'd find all of that. Let's see if we can find us a um, a cook pot first, because we we really need food. I mean, that's sort of like a, a, a priority one must at the moment. Got some seeds out of there. Nothing in the water cooler. I mean, all this stuff we could actually take apart. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Yep. Yeah, we've gone through all of this. Except I didn't remember the person. Oh. Oh yeah, these blinds are technically plastic, so they're they're sort of like a, a must for like dew collectors and things like that. Oh, 
Hey, we can make forges now. That's great news, because we need the forge. Uh, in fact, actually, I was talking to uh, a guy, I think it was just yesterday, actually. He was saying that it's a good idea to have maybe, like, two forges. One for, like, um... Hmm. Yeah, one for, like, the... Like, brass and... and and things like that. Another one for... Oh, what was it he said? Um... It was more like iron-based stuff or, or something. I, I honestly forget what he, what he said there. Uh, that was home. So we need to drop off a load of stuff. We've got a full inventory at the moment. Actually, let's see if, we, if we've got the components for a forge. I'm just thinking, maybe we might be able to um, manufacture a uh, a cook pot. I mean, surely we must be able to, but let's get to the safety of our house first. Well, house. Wooden box is probably more like I hate that moan, you know, that whoa. It's like, yo, know, I know it's night time. I know night is scary, but you're making it worse. <laughs> now, honestly... I'm not afraid of the night or anything like that, but it's more the people in the night, you know, it, you know, the people who do like all the bad stuff at night and stuff. It's they're the ones who have me concerned about like the human race and the way we're going and all that. It's that's my concern, really. I suppose we could throw a forge in there and then we could carve that wall out once we've built a bit more. Um, right. Let's offload first. Always a good idea right at the beginning. Anything else? Weapons and armour? Yep, those. Um... Okay, food and drink. Uh. Right, other. This is more like stuff like that. Alright, there we have it. So that's a little bit more organised. Uh, oh, hold on. Take that out of there. A bit of paper in there. Uh, tell you what, let's put the spare wrench in there. Yep. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, to make a forge, what do we need? We need cobblestone rocks, a wooden log, leather, duct tape, short iron pipe. Okay, what we got? Alright, cobblestone rocks. We don't have duct tape. Actually, how much duct tape do we need? Three. Oh, that's brilliant. Right, we can do that. Okay. So, let's go duct tape. I'm going to put it in our favourites list as well. And we're going to craft three of those. Uh, whilst we're at it. And also add dew collector. Uh... Gonna also add wood block and door. Storage crate. Okay, wood log. I can craft one of those in the meantime. Okay. Now back to forge. <coughs> uh where are we at? Ten leather and three short iron pipe. Okay, so leather. Alright, looks like we can only craft one. Hey, one's better than none. Now we are going to need a fuel source. I'll grab some of that. some point we are going to just have to go and do some boring stuff, which is to mine um, some resource. There we go. We've got a forge in here now. We've got a fuel source. And as you see, the bellows anvil and a um, crucible to fully upgrade it. And then we can just throw things in there, smelt it out, and we can make stuff. And talking of making stuff, we were going to have a look to see if we could actually... Yes, we can. Look at that. Iron and clay. So if we grab iron and clay and we place them in the smelting areas, turn that on. So as soon as these values get to, what's that, 31 and 6, I think it's going to be more like 31 and 10, or, yeah there you go. Okay, so we've now got way more than enough. Let's get one of those under the, under the way. We could even make ourselves a grill. Let's do that. I mean, it's a, uh, you know, do something different this time around, you know, because, you know, it's stuff that we need. We really need to get, um, get ourselves to a point where we're able to... to sustain ourselves at the very least so let's turn it off we'll throw that in there as well so now we can do things like the grilled meat so if we go food and drink we grab ourselves a load of meat we can have that going and then we grab that uh, water as well. I mean, look at that. Boom. It's going to take about half an hour to filter through all of that. I mean, we could have this go on and going. Uh, but let's see, what can we do in the meantime? Hmm. Scope lens. 
Oh, well, we can do things like forged iron and stuff now. So let's have a look. Um, workstations. So we still need more to be able to make the workbench. But at least we got a, a, a handle on where we're at, at the moment. So, um, so yeah, we got the bone as well. Coupled with that, some of this water that we're going to be producing, we can make some more um, uh, glue. We need the glue to be able to then make uh, some dew collectors and things like that. Now we're going to repair some of our gear. Alright. So, while all that's doing... Uh, let's head back in the town. And we'll see about getting some of these car parts while we're at it. I mean, obviously we can't get the ones that are in this his yard. As you can see, you can tell by the way they're moving. I mean, there are some cars down there, but there was a load in town. Uh, that one's a burnt out husk. Might as well just get what we can out of it while, while we can. Another radiator. Okay, that's that one done. Ah, look at that pop up on the HUD there. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, working stiffs fan. All right, one I think we've already salvaged from. So there's a chance we might be able to find some stuff through this. Okay. Parts, cloth, oil, springs, more mechanical. <laughs> so at least we've got stuff that we'll be able to sell, you know, to um, trade a wreck to try and make some dukes. Oh, look, there's another engine there. That's three engines. Yeah. That's quite funny. The, the game, game I was playing with um, a guy from work, you know, we we managed to find the batteries, but couldn't find enough engines. This time around, I'm finding the engines and not the batteries. So it's like, what? All right. Oh, there's a marker there. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Bit of a delay on that. I wonder, can you, can you take these things apart? Would water shoot out of the ground if we take these apart? I've never tried this. Nope. It's just a... Bit of scenery. She may be small, but she's mighty fast. Mm. 
Sorry, I thought I saw something moving. Oh, looks, it looks like we've got a battery out of this one. There's some additional cars over here, so... Search the sedan. It's got to be here somewhere. There's got to be some more batteries in this lot. We will take apart every car to find the battery. There's another engine. So if we ever get a generator, at least we've got the engines to be able to power it. We've got fuel as well, although I'll probably sell some of that to make some more dukes. Uh, nothing in that one. Right, it's almost dawn as well, so thankfully the zombies will slow down a bit uh, and not be so fast. Might go back to the other house and search that basement, you know, without fear of being mobbed. Oh, come on, die! Oh, damn, infection again. I think I heard another zombie around here somewhere. Just about the break of dawn. Thank God, at least the zombies will be a bit slower for a bit. So we can take apart some cars with not too much trouble. And I really was hoping Really, really was hoping that we could get through the... Hello. Is it me or is that poster just like mighty suggestive? I mean, there's two ways of getting things like iron in this game. Taking apart cars or digging for it. I mean, you know, so far it seems like I'm getting most of my iron just by literally just taking apart the cars. lots of stuff here that we could potentially take apart as well I mean, look at this oh bird's nest hey some eggs really where what okay Make him work for his breakfast. A bit of glue in there.
Yeah, the brass, we're going to need lots of that because of the fact that we're going to be needing to... Um, yeah. A burnt one. Is this meant to be like a play on like firefighters or something? Alright, see if we can get that battery that we need. Surely at least another engine. Gotta stay hydrated. <sighs> Come on. Please, give me a battery. Please, pretty please, pretty please with a cherry on top. Another engine there, another battery. Hey! Now if we're lucky, because fire engines do have redundancies for that sort of thing, because they'd have like a, a spare battery for like the the, the, the cranes and, and all that. So hopefully, maybe, if the right, uh, game writers have been generous enough, we might be able to get another one. Nope. We... It's like access denied. Ooh, some more glue. We got another uh, wrench out of that as well, so, you know. I'm not going to say no to the fact that we've got another wrench. Come on. Come on, give us that battery. You know you wanna. Yes, look at that. Right. Hey, look at that, guys. Yeah, we managed to get that. We've got the one for the forge. We've got the one for the harvest pipes. It's showing this one here. Harvest honey from tree stumps with any axe. Okay. Oops. Did not mean to turn that off, because that's actually one I really could do with. Um... I mean, we've got all of this space here, all this space here and here as well. So uh, let's ha ha head to our... Uh, whose teeth did I put in this morning? Our northwest. Hopefully. Hopefully, developers willing. And we might actually find some stumps. No, but we're going to find a big fat guy. In a wine shirt. What was that? Six shots? Just get him down. Is that a bird's nest over here? If you go 
guys ever noticed with the games that when you need a particular resource, like in this case, honey, um, that you can't find what you're looking for. But as soon as you stop looking for it, you can find it easily. Alright, well there's one anyway at least. It's like you have to go like a million miles away and it's usually guarded by a whole host of like the nastiest things you could come across. No, nothing from that one. Oh, two over that way. Okay, come on. Gotta have at least one here. Please. Come on. Give it up. Don't hold it back. You know what you want to give it. Yes! Right, gonna down that immediately. Recover. Hope to God that we can find a load more. Hey, there's another. Cool. Alright. Ah, construction worker zombie. Don't see any more tree stumps, but ah, there's one more. Well, at least we're getting wood for ready for an expansion as well. Yeah, it would be nice if you could actually just, you know, repair these trucks. You know, like, yeah, you find a good battery in another in another truck. Oh, you can put it in this truck. Find an engine, put it in this one. You know, so forth and so forth. Repair the vehicles. You know. But I do know that there's uh, a modder out there. I can't remember who it was now. Apparently had done a, a complete mod. You could repair and drive any... Any vehicle in the game. Right, well, let's head back to base. Um, repair that in the meantime. Business there, there's a zombie over there in the distance. Um, I think that's a wonder a zombie. Well, at least that's what I call it anyway, because it just looks like that to me. Was that a one-shot, one-kill? Can't even see him. There he is. Yeah. That was a one-shot, one-kill. Picking up all these stones as well, because... Um, 
it's one of the most overlooked ways of being able to get um, quite a lot of stone to then be able to turn into cobblestone, which is something we're going to need to upgrade our base in the end. In fact, actually, I think that should be our, one of our next priorities, actually, is upgrading the base. All right, let's see where we're at. Come on. Oh, look at all that good food. Hey. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. Six engines. <laughs> I mean, anything more than that, I, I yeah, I think we can actually just trade off at the moment. So, you know, we should be fine. Uh, let's take that out of there. Let's get the brass out of here. Um, hello, seeds. Keep that on us as well. Uh, Medical supplies can go in there. Oh! Hold on, we've got an engine here. That's obviously in the wrong place. Uh, glue can also go in there. That can go in there with that. Then all that can be disassembled into lovely, lovely brass. Which we need absolutely icking tons of. Talking of which, we've got a load there we can smelt down. I mean, look at this. We, we've got resources for days. Alright. Okay. Now, where are we at in terms of this lot? Tell you what, let's stop the, the food production for a minute. Put that back on there. Throw that in there. Okay. Let's also get some farm blocks going. Favourite those. So we need rotting flesh. I should keep forgetting what we need for that. Wood, rotting flesh, nitrate clay. So there's nitrate. Oh, look at that. Five straight off the cuff. Uh, what do we need to make some more, you know, just some more clay, really? Um, that we can get by doing digging. Uh, in fact, that's what we should have done when we first built this base, was like dug into the ground. I mean, what we can do is maybe... Yeah, here's an idea what we could do. Anything we build next, if we dig out like an area... No, we don't need to do that even. We don't need to do that. What we do need... No, that's that. Is some of that... Is some of that coal. Where's the coal? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a marker on, them, on here for coal. Just in case that when we remove this stone, which is like all all coal, you know, maybe we might lose it. And saying to eat increases our stamina a little. Not as much as when you drink stuff, though. There we go. Actually, let's make that clear 50 in our inventory. Where is it? Alright. There we go. 60. We've got some water from that, so that's good. 
It's not enough. We're going to need about a dozen of those to really actually make this work. Um, Do we need for a dew collector? So if I go favourites here, you see all of our favourites are clustered together. So we need four duct tape, four short iron pipe and scrap polymers. So there's the scrap polymers. We need the glue, the cloth. Get the two glue going, get the water going, and then whatever meat after that. Farm plots. Yeah, we'll leave a bit of a space here. As you saw, there's a quest item there. And we can grab some... Um, actually, what can we do seeds-wise at the moment? Uh, food cooking. Corn, grass, golden rod, cotton, coffee. Wow, we can't really do much in terms of seeds. Um, all right, well, let's just get the potatoes growing. There we go. So we've got some potato on the go. Alright. Uh, duct tape. Oop. Actually needed four of them. craft ourselves a dew collector There we go. So we've now got two of them. And we just need to keep on this process. I mean, it's, yeah, we, we're we on a roll now. Now, I'd say at least five is a good number to have on your own. But I want as much as I can get. So I'm thinking ten. And then at least then we've got something we can trade as well. You know, it's, the opportunities are endless. So... Yeah, we got oh, we got an we got something going here. Uh, let's see, what can we get rid of? Let's take some of that. Um, sell some of this as well. Half of the mechanical parts as well, because we can get loads more of that. Turn that off for now. Uh, Got any duplicate stuff? Not really at the moment. 
Oh yeah, mushrooms. We could get those on the go as well. I mean, you know. Just put them high enough on something. So the zombies won't be able to hit them easily. Uh, da, 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 da. We can sell the beer, I guess. Or at least try to sell the beer. Uh... Get rid of that. See what we can do with that. Alright. Let's see if we can sell some stuff to this uh, foul mouth freak that calls himself a trader. Because I don't know about you guys, but really don't like this guy. I mean, to the point of abject hatred. What do you want? Make up your mind or make your way out. Alright. So we've got quite a bit of, uh, of money coming in. Not as much as I would like, but... Ooh, vehicle ventures. Grab one of them. Uh, actually... Not really anything in now I want. It does a bellows, but I wonder if we can make those. It does have a couple of those. I'm not sure what our rifle world's at at the moment. I wish. <laughs> He's got a jar of honey in there. Yeah, why not? We can need, we could do with as many of those as we can get our hands on. Uh, loot bonus. Does it have a light in the minor helmet? I mean, that would be something to have, actually. Both of these bits. Uh, can't say there's anything in there that I really need at the moment. Thank you very much, and now you can go fuck yourself. See what I mean? Foul language. I mean, I've just bought some stuff from him, so it's like, why the attitude? I mean, we still got a mission to do for him as well, um, I suppose. As for that vehicle adventures, let's see where that put us, actually. Still only at two, and we need five to unlock the bicycle. Now... If I'm right as well, I think we've also got the opportunity to also upgrade our armour. Yeah, because we're at level 2. Armour-wise... Take that off for favourites. Yeah, we can create some level 3 stuff now. So... At least then we'll be a little bit more protected. salvage that stuff as well. Let me tell you what we can do if we really wanted to, just as a laugh. There we go. Start making this place look and feel more like at home. 
if we put another crate in there, and we call this medical. But you guys wondering when I'll do this as well. Look at that, loads of water as well, so. Let's get some nosh in our hero. Um, Get all that on the go. Get the water. Grilled meat. I mean, we are getting there. It's just a matter of time. I mean, we could actually make some red tea with chrysanthemum, which means we get more f uh, more out of the food as well. Right, so I've just got to wait a minute for this to filter through. While we're waiting, we can also do some duct tape <coughs> and get a few more of these dew, well, one more of these dew collectors making at the same time. Already was on it. There you go, back down to eight on the plastics. We've now got four dew collectors going. I mean, that was nearly done. Got one more on the go. Two, three, one, bing. There we have it. Alright guys, so we've now got an influx of water, we've got a the a forge which we use to make the cook pot and the uh, the grill. Uh, the forge itself we can get around to making things like bellows and things like that for it once we get a I think it's like the workbench. So we still need to go uh scavenging through houses and things like that so i think next episode what we'll do is we'll continue our, uh, our salvaging um expedition uh in the in the village uh we'll go to uh this property here we'll clear it out then we'll do the fetch and then we can sort of see where we go from there uh we have trader wrecked as well uh we've got plants on the grow we've got water coming in uh, which means we don't really have to start uh, thinking about oh, where's the nearest lake, which in this case we could probably even use a swimming pool as water source, but I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, we've got water sources you know, throughout this region as well that we could also use, but 
you know that would the only thing about that is the risk of getting um, dysentery which is not pleasant um, but yeah I think we've covered quite a lot here you know we've certainly in, you know improved our chances of survival we still need to find magazines and stuff like that to be able to survive uh, better um, I mean we could even I suppose go as far as making another campfire and um, you know for it we can also then add more opportunities to be able to have more things going at one time uh, if we also then make a an additional area to add like a can uh, a kitchen sorry then we can better store things as we as we progress and also have like the campfires up on the workbench yeah things like that I mean we, yeah we got, we got options here we got we, uh, we were certainly working towards something good and that's what we need yeah, we need to be able to um, progress from here, and we are progressing very nicely. So join me next time, guys, on Arcangelus Gaming, where we will continue uh, our um, expedition around this area, see what we can actually do in terms of being able to survive. All right, thanks for joining me, guys. Ciao for now.